AkronHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. Superstar status have just slammed in Blackburn, Ohio. We call it Blackburn. <laughs> Not Blackburn. Black I like Ohio. it. I like it. Tell everybody your I name like who it. don't know, bro. Uh, my name is Charles Payne. I'm originally from Akron right now. I live in Houston, Texas. Um, I'm kind of starting my own little tour called Let Me Be Me. Um, April 2nd, I'm at La Place. Um, I'm here with my man, D. And chilling and doing this interview for my people. You know, I just, I love my city. Love what y'all doing. Love to see it grow, so. Well, check this out. What's real dope is you're a comedian. Right, right. And you traveling from city to city, state to state, since the coronavirus is right. at ease a little bit. Right. So you, you you back on the road, huh? Tell me, as a comedian, how did the coronavirus impact your business? Um, in Houston, it, it's, it slowed everything down for a little. It stopped a lot of people from being able to go certain areas, uh, especially me. Being able to go from city to city and you not knowing uh, what the level is of danger in that city. So it was best to just sit down and stop for a while. Comedy will be here. Everything will be here. Um, it really even the playing field for a lot of comedians who okay. were out there, who were working more. And then when everything shut down, now we all on the even playing field. Now, if you're really funny, oh, it's going to show. It's going to show if you're funny or not. Um, if you're not funny, it's going to show that you was always in the way. So that's just how I see it. So I you just, know that, that um, additive, what everybody used to say, hey, if you want to make it, you got to go out of town. You got to leave Akron. If a twin, if you want to go, you got to go to New York. You got to go to Atlanta or something like that. Right. Is that the same thing? Did you hear that in Akron? Or you want to yeah. grow up? Explain, yeah. go ahead, break um, that down. And very rarely, and I met a guy um, in Houston, um, Ali Sadiq. He um, he was on Comedy Central. He did a few stands. I think he got something coming out on Netflix. But he was the only comedian that they said didn't leave town to get famous. Uh, Comedy Central came to him because he was making so much noise in his city that they had heard about him and they came to him. Do you have to leave your city to get famous? No. You just got to put it in 10 times more work to where they want to come see you. Because going somewhere and then they get to see you, you <coughs> might not get the look that you want to get. So... Um, oh, okay. When you say the look, you're talking about the reception? Yeah, the reception. Because moving, for me, like, in my mind, uh, when I moved to Houston, I was, I was the man. But I was the man coming from Act. But when I got to Houston... No, you're not the man. Rebuilding your whole oh, brand. Oh, right. Starting all over. I had to, uh, I bombed for a year and a half. Every every time I so went you out. You bombed. You stunk up bombed, the joint? Bombed. Stunk up the joint. And didn't give up on it? Didn't give up. Year and a half. Year and a half. And I had to keep going. A good friend of mine, Bryson Brown, took me out on the road with him a couple of times. Um, and he helped build my confidence up. I moved to Atlanta for about seven months. And after that, when I went back to Houston, everything was good. I mean. Since then, I've just been going. Now, you're talking about Houston, man. And you're repping Houston um, right now in Blackburn, Ohio, okay? Uh -huh. Was yeah. you down there through all that mess that was happening? I was down there. Um, I've seen... I, and it, for them, it was hard. For me, it really wasn't. I've seen harder uh, days going to crowds, dealing with Conrad Ott and Miss Petty in the 70s. Going so, to school. Yeah, yeah. You remember Conrad I had a dog. It was a chihuahua. A lot of people don't know. Superintendent of school boards when he was growing up had a chihuahua. And if it was a, a detrimental winter day, if his dog could go outside to use the bathroom, you could go to school. That was his rule. And my whole time in elementary school, that dog did not go outside three times. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. I, like, I'll be telling folks, I remember there was a time when we had to go to school with snow over your knees. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. That was real. Yeah. Now, well, so Houston, apparently, there's something different going on with Houston. They wasn't prepared no. for that type of snowstorm and all that? No. Um, Houston, uh, the state of Texas is not set up for winter. They when you say that set up for winter, I mean, what are you talking about? They're not, they're, their power grids aren't built. To, for 29 million people to turn on heaters at one time or throughout the day. They just keep it a buck. Right. So what they'll do is if 29 million people got to turn on heaters, you're going to blow power grids, and that's going to cost them billions and billions of dollars. So they'll just rather let you be cold. So are you implying they cut the heat off them? I mean, they cut the power off of them people? 
Wait a minute, your power was cut off? My power was off. And they turned it off on, on purpose to preserve they, the yeah, power. They turned it off to preserve the energy plants. See, as huh. long as you don't blow them transformers and them grids, cool, that's that's what's costing the money. Wait a minute, well, your stuff was turned off 24-7? Not twenty four seven. Uh, we might. I might. That first day, it might have been twenty four hours, and then like the next day, you got about 10, 11 hours of electricity. They they put it. They divided it through the city at certain times. So all the power would be on it. Right. So so everybody. So they would ease the the the, the, the grids back into going back to full power. So, okay. Okay. Speaking about full power, you got a powerful show coming up. Yeah. Talk about yeah. the show, Black Man. Um, April second. Uh, we're doing a one hour filming. It's not just a comedy show. You're going to get to be in the first stand up special filmed in Akron. Uh, it's being shot to a couple of networks. Uh, we're giving away two tickets. Y'all got to get in touch with my man D. Yeah, you know how we do it. So, so just, just like on the comment, just make a comment about free tickets under this post. Yeah, yeah. Just, and if you, you get them, I'll make sure you got a nice table. I'll probably bring you two free t shirts. Come out, shake your hand, take a couple pictures with you. It's all on me, so don't worry about it. But yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's, pro- it's the most important show I'm going to do in my life, and I wanted to do it in Akron. Um, I really hope like a lot of people um, take the time to bring, bring, your, bring your son. Bring your son. Bring your son. Especially if he's young. Bring him in. So he can see his other things in life he can do, and you can kind of get him away from the violence in Akron. There's too much violence in That's Akron it, right bro. now. So I just I just want to see these young men live their lives and grow to the potential that they can be. So where's the place gonna be at again? Is that uh, is that the place over there on Buckholder across from Chapel Hill Mall? Um, what day is it? April second, Good Friday, my mother's birthday. So we're gonna celebrate her too. For what uh, time? Seven. The show starts at seven. Y'all know we on you color. Know. Y- y'all know we on color people time. <laughs> So about 7.30, 8 o'clock, the show will start. Um, we got Courtney Trice, Ebony Red Soul. That's who Courtney is. Um, we got Ebony Gordon. We got the hottest DJ, as far as I know, in Ohio with DJ Easy Money. Um, and we're going we gonna to make it real nice. How long is the event going to be? Is it for a couple of hours? Uh, about three hours at the oh, most. Okay. About three hours at the most. We ain't going to hold nobody up. We're getting, uh, we setting up uh, somewhere for them to have a... a have some type of after party or something but nothing too big but it's all about the social distancing right now with everything that's going on we want people to be safe wear your mask but it is also for the grown and sexy i don't want nobody in tennis shoes or nothing like that but wear your mask you're all about protecting the people and having a good time and easing everybody back into society and the way life is but tell somebody if they want to get in touch with you and get involved with the movement how can they follow you, buddy? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Tone Payne 23, T O N E P A Y N E 23, or you can just hit me on Facebook, Tone Payne. Well, listen, man, we appreciate you slamming down. Anytime. Blessing the community with the tickets and everything. Anytime. In the meantime, in between time, have some fun and get something done, black man. For sure, for sure. Y'all continue to support my brother right here. I, I shouldn't be pointing because I don't want y'all to know where he at. <laughs> but y'all continue to support my brother. I, I went to high school with him and his brothers. They, they've always, always been respectful men. Always. Yes, and I can say that about them, man. Really, they don't even know this, but they, they could have asked me to do this a long time ago. And I, I, I would have did it for them. But it's just a respect, you know, every time we see each other, me, it's me and him, me, uh, me and his brother. Uh, I see both of them at the same time. It's always love and love. And, and, and maybe one day I'll tell you what, what my man taught me over here. When people don't respect you, I'll show you how to lead the stage. You better say it. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Appreciate you.